good money. Um, I'm using this opportunity to um, do a video on an explanation on how to uh, talk the water level of a battery whenever it's down. So because we have uh, customers all over the country, far away from our workshop. So uh, just for you to know that this is not a special thing to do. It's, it is a, it's what a customer can do by his or herself. So I want to just, this is a video to demonstrate on how to refill the water level of your battery whenever it's down. So my name is Sunday Akomale, the CEO of AKNG Electronics. Uh, most of you know me well. And we are here to make uh, the sun always pay your bills as usual. So follow me as we go through the process. So first and foremost, you need to have a distilled water. This is distilled water. Mind you, most uh, uh, most clients or uh, you have some worker engineers telling you that uh, you should make it of ordinary water. Don't do the mistake. The battery water level must be topped with a distilled water. So yes, my own distilled water. Uh, a distilled water has zero resistance. It must have a zero resistance. Then you might not know how to do the test. So that is why you must buy uh, a distilled water from a reliable source or uh, or, his, or his pharmaceutical stocks. <clears throat> so, you can also have a small cake just to put in your distilled water so that it won't pit, uh, split on the floor. Then uh, you can have a small, get a small funnel. Get a small funnel. Then uh, you can have a small washer like this. Some can decide to make use of a screwdriver with the flat side, but that's majorly damaged the opening of the uh, uh battery so i recommend a washer like this so when you get a small washer like this if you all you just need to do is just go through your gauge we have six gauge on the batteries so just go to your gauge on each, each gauge there is a line that is painted green you see it green and then there's a line that's painted red once this red cap you are looking at is dropping below the green line then that means the water content is already dropping once it's on the red line is at the danger level so i mostly advise our clients and our customers that once this red cap is at the middle you should top up your battery you shouldn't wait till when it gets to that damage i mean danger level so once it's at the middle it's good to go top up your battery level with uh, distilled water so you are, you can see that this as the red cap has a little bit drop below. If you look at the next gauge here, this is okay. If you look at the next gauge here, this has also dropped a bit. If you look at this gauge here, this has dropped far a bit below the green line. If you look at the following gauge here, this is okay also. Then this one has also dropped a bit. So I will show you how I'm going to do mine now. So let me start with this one that has really dropped so just use a washer you open the outlet each, each gauge has their respective uh outlet uh where you can pour in your water so this the this one this opening here is for this gauge this is for this this is for this so the battery has um uh, what we know ourselves so this has a six cells so that's why we're having six gauges here so I need to it is filled with electrolyte with a mixture of distilled water. So whenever the water level drops, it is not the electrolyte that drops. Mind you, some uh, engineers will say uh, it's the electrolyte that drops. So top it up with electrolyte. No, the the battery has been designed from manufacturing company with the uh, required uh, quantity of electrolyte and uh, and water level. So well, once the battery is going through the process of charging, discharging, charging, discharging, is the water content that drops, not the electrolyte. So I'm using my washer here now to open this part. So I've opened it, place the cover in the place. Then your, your phone you can get a small phone like mine. And if you don't have a, sm a small phone, don't, don't, don't give yourself hypertension. So and then. You put putting your distilled water in in a small bottle like this, a clean one, mind you, a clean one. 
and then uh, you pour gently. As you pour gently to wash the gauge level, it, sh it should be coming up. Can you see this is coming up? And then you pour until it goes back to the green line. So if you see it now, you can see that it's going back to the green line. So that's how you top up the water level content of your tubular battery. Thank you so much.